what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Every day with great caution, I say, God, please don't let it get worse. Family, it just got worse. We have a Chicago buffoon, not goon, who filmed himself on live, breaking into an ATM machine. Family, this type of stuff it, it throw my heart off rhythm. I don't understand it. I thought the idea of committing a crime was to get away with it, you know? Unless you just don't give a damn, like maybe you popped up somebody or whatever, and you say, yeah, I did it, here I am, come on, get me. I did it, he deserved it. But breaking into an ATM machine, destroying an ATM machine, and filming yourself live, and blasting it on social media for the world to see, is something wrong with you. There has to be something off. No sane person would ever do something like that. There has to be something wrong. And there is a number of youngsters out there who have the same mentality. And when I say youngsters, I'm not just talking about teenagers or 20 something year olds. I've seen people in their 30s and 40s do the same thing to get some attention, cloud chasing. It's like, you know what? I've given up on the rest of the world. I've given up on free, the free world. Uh, I'm tired of trying to work for anything. And, you know, I just want to go to jail and let them pay for everything. Let me just get three hots and a cot. And, you know, it doesn't matter. I don't care if I go to jail. Lock me up. That is what this dumbass is saying and got the nerve to be on live talking down to somebody who was calling him crazy or whatever, stupid. This fool was actually celebrating. You ain't from around here, don't come down here. The people that's from around there don't want to come down there, fool. Man, it makes me wonder who raised him? Who is his mama? What is her life story? Who is his daddy? Where did his daddy come from? Who was his daddy's daddy? Did he know him? What happened, fam? Is clout chasing? Is it that important? that you would risk your freedom to get some attention. Real bad boys move in silence. Speak softly, carry a big stick. Lay low, hit the lick, fall back. You don't hit the lick and go on a shopping spree. I know so many fools who hit the lick and couldn't wait, couldn't hold out, couldn't sit on the money until everything blew over and then start getting a little some a little bit at a time. Instead of being like this fool in my hood one day, this fool go out and rob an armored truck. The very next day, he go to the car lot and purchase a big body Benz cash. 
come back through the hood. The hood already hot. They're already suspecting that somebody in Fifth Ward did it anyway. So they already in the hood. This fool coming through the hood. Remind me of that scene in, was it Goodfellas, I believe? I think it was Goodfellas where they hit that lick and Robert De Niro, I believe it was Robert De Niro that told everybody, hey man, you know, just lay low, don't buy anything, don't make, don't make no purchases, don't make no big purchases, you know, lay low. You know, we got the money, just lay low. They at the nightclub, some fool walk in, he, he done bought his woman a fur coat, she got the fur coat on, somebody else bought a big shiny watch and when you got it, you know, you don't have to flaunt it. When you got it. See, I'm cool. Like, if I know I got it, I'm not tripping on what everybody else think. I'm not tripping at all. It's like, I know I'm sitting on it. I got it. I ain't worried about what nobody else think. These fools are committing crimes. Filming themselves. First of all, that's a bad idea in and of itself. But to film yourself committing a crime and then actually publish said crime. Good God. There's something deeply disturbing about someone with that type of mentality. I bet you anything when the police showed him the video evidence, his dumb ass said, that ain't me. No more talk. What the talking about?